Hey you guys! So one of the most requested YouTube video uh, was my basic makeup. Um, if you guys have been following my YouTube, you know that I don't wear much makeup. On a daily basis, I absolutely hate wearing makeup. All I do is a little bit of gloss and sometimes my eyebrows and sunscreen. Uh, but um, since a lot of you go to college and like this whole young lot and you know you guys love wearing makeup and want something really really basic that's not too loud I'm going to give you uh, some little uh, tips and tricks of how I do my makeup in like five minutes and I'm super ready for a meeting or to just go out to meet my friends or coffee or like a little casual date or anything of that sort so it's super easy and super fast and uh, so yeah, without wasting much time, I think we should get started. So I'm going to show you my little makeup pouch that I carry around. Uh, you guys must be familiar with this. So yeah, all my makeup is in this. Whatever I need, whatever I want to do, uh, it's here. So today I'm going to do a very simple, uh, a no makeup look. Something really basic that you all can um, go to school in, go to college in, um, go for a meeting or step out for coffee. It's basically day wear. I also do the same makeup at night with a little bit of changes. Um, I'll do a separate video on the changes and uh, you know, maybe like a brighter, more day look. This is absolutely subtle and pretty basic. So without wasting much time, this is my little unicorn pouch um, because the color is unicorn and, and lilac. So yeah, um, I think lilac is the color of the season and it's my absolute favorite. Uh, so it matches my bag. Anyway, okay, so let's get started. Let's open this up. Okay, so I'm going to show you all uh, the stuff it has. It's got really basic stuff. Uh, let's just first things first sanitize our hands and done so whenever you do your makeup make sure your hands are sanitized whether you touch your makeup or touch your face like please don't touch your face with dirty hands it's a strict no no okay um so i use a very basic foundation okay so the stuff about my makeup is that i uh, don't use very high-end products I use very very uh, basic stuff that you can probably find at your local chemist as well or your local beauty store and um, so my makeup has been stolen a lot of times and I know girls really like spending money on their makeup but I am not one of those girls a because I don't like wearing makeup and b because you know like when you your stuff can be done in basic then why spend more money so over the years, I figured out what all is good for me and what all suits my skin. Um, so I have a couple of really basic products that you all can, uh, you know, go and get from the market. I am not going to be telling you the brands of the makeup I'm going to be using because this is not a paid video. So I'm just going to keep the brands a secret. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. So I've got a foundation, I've got a basic compact and like I just like using this because it's easier to set the compact in. Um, I've got a new blush on uh, which also acts as my uh, eyeshadow but I'm not going to be using an eyeshadow today. I have a shimmer uh, or a highlighter whatever you may call it um, which, which also I'm not going to use or maybe I will you know if I have time. Um, I have a lip liner, which is for like special occasions. I don't really use it all the time. A lipstick and another lipstick. I usually keep uh, two shades of lipsticks uh, with me. One really basic and one a little dark. So depending on my mood, I can just switch it or mix both. Then I have... This is magic, okay? I know a lot of you like using an eyebrow palette and a lot of things, but this, I swear, is magic. I'll show you how to use it. And you can do your eyebrows in literally 30 seconds. Kajal, which also acts as an eyeliner. Mascara. Uh, sometimes you don't even need to do kajal and you can just put mascara and you're done. And then, yeah, that's it. Like just an applicator for the blush on. And a lip balm. This is pretty much it. So I'm going to put this stuff back and... I'm gonna get started so what I do to prep my skin guys first of all is either I put sunscreen okay which is very important if you all are stepping out please please use sunscreen I have dry skin so I use 
something which has moisturizer in it but if you have uh, oily skin stick to something that has that is gel based and is more water based and not oil based so that your skin doesn't break out but use a sunscreen since i'm at home and not stepping out and my skin is super dry all the time i'm going to be using um uh, argan oil um, you can use any other oil if you want i have also used uh, virgin coconut oil a couple of times that's also great it gives your skin a natural glow from inside or i end up using a moisturizer like a really thick um hydrating moisturizer so this is how much of like the serum i took and um yeah i'm just going to rub it all over my face um yeah i've never done a tutorial before guys so if i'm missing out some information uh please ask me in the comment section and i'm going to reply to you guys because i really don't know um uh, how you're supposed to go about this okay don't forget your neck because you know we often uh, tend to uh, forget moisturizing our neck uh, which is very very important this is really good for your skin so not only is it a great uh, prep for your makeup it's also great uh, for your skin because it hydrates it and keeps it really supple okay so we're done using this i usually don't wait for it to dry because it's uh, better if you just uh, if you have dry skin it's really good to just start up immediately i don't use an applicator to do my base so i start with my under eye all i do is just spread it out evenly under eye is very very important under eye coverage is of utmost importance um i don't get to sleep much i don't sleep well uh, i mean i sleep really well but i don't get to sleep much because i'm shooting and i get about 6 to 8 hours of sleep ideally i want 12 to 14 hours of sleep which is extremely unhealthy they say but that's the secret to my perfect skin i mean it's not perfect right now because i'm not getting that much sleep but that's exactly what one should do if you guys want good skin just sleep and drink a lot of water that's also very very important um i eat all kinds of food honestly i don't do anything special to take care of my skin uh apart from the fact that i sleep a lot and i drink lots of water and stay happy guys that's most important just stay like happy okay um so yeah it's all settled in this is done my base is done and i'm going to straight up go for the compact um you guys can honestly use any compact any compact is good just figure out whatever suits your skin i'll give you a quick tip if uh, you're using a brighter base go for a darker setting powder and if you're using a a darker base then use the same shade or like a lighter shade of uh, setting powder because you know honestly it's very hard to find the perfect base and uh, very very difficult to find the perfect shade of compact um so i mix and match sometimes i use a lighter base and a darker compact and you know a darker base and lighter compact so it just gets very easy and most uh, often than not i don't wear foundation so what i do is i just apply whatever you know a moisturizer and just put compact on top of it so i prefer a a shade darker for compact because it just hides all your flaws So if you have like acne marks or under eye or you know a little pigmentation around your lip or whatever it's perfect. So trust me, get yourself a slightly darker compact and that way all your flaws will be covered and you will be flawless. Um so yeah, I think we're good. This is done. What's next? Next to see it's pretty fast here. Yeah? So next up is the blush on Um the best part about a blush on brush is you already have some stuff like hanging in there all the time always. So before I get like new blush on off the palette, I like to just rub whatever's there and uh honestly there's quite a lot so we don't need we don't really need to dab into this. I want to give you all a quick tip. uh you can just rub your finger over your blush on brush or like the palette a little bit just dab 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 with your finger and just dab a little on top of your eyelid 
and that would give you a very uh, natural you know pinkish uh, blush feel which I think looks really really fresh you know you have darker eyelids and um, you didn't use the concealer so it's best if you just rub some pink on your on the top of your eyelid because it's summertime and uh, pink and peach and whatever color blush on you're using whether it's peach or pink or uh, coral or whatever whatever suits your skin or your you know fa whatever fancies you whatever you like you can totally go ahead and use that and just rub some on your eyelid and a little bit on your nose and i think it gives a really nice blush and it looks really really cute um if you're feeling a little more adventurous you want to look a little more glam just like get some highlighter and just rub it on your um cheekbones hold it and go upwards hold it and go upwards that's it you don't need a brush you don't have to worry about that at all if you want a sharper look on your nose just like go straight vertically down uh, on your nose and it'll give you an instant shine um, the one another thing I do very often is just highlight uh, under my eyebrows on the brow bone um, so if I if you just put some highlighter there there you go it's sorted uh, it's done okay so now is the tricky bit actually it's not the tricky bit now it's the simplest bit because i'm going to show you all how to use the um brow pencil so it's got a brush attached to it and um it's it's the pencil so it's very very simple i don't do my eyebrows guys i have uh, i used to do my eyebrows in school because that time thin eyebrows were in fashion and i thought oh my god like i look mature and old and stuff but honestly, I think natural is the way to go. Thick eyebrows are in. I am quite lucky that this is the maximum it grows. So I don't have to worry about like strays and you know, the extra eyebrows. So um, yeah, so I'm just going to shape it up and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, so what you can do is just use this brush and brush it up in the direction you'd like. And then just draw a line under your brow upwards and just like along the shape of your brows just this way this way and down yeah that's it that's it you're done and you just brush it in the direction of your eyebrows brush it up and horizontally and that's it guys and that's it that simple did you ever think uh, painting your brows could be this simple it looks natural it looks super super real and it's it, it was done in literally 30 seconds next up is my favorite kajal it's, it's a day look and i really think that uh, doing your eyeliner is a bit much during the day so what i'm going to do is just show you guys how to do basic kajal just paint your waterline just put it inside and just so that your eyes just look a little awake just this way i'm going to tell you all a trick i you guys probably know it already so just open your kajal up a little bit place it in between your upper and lower eyelid and just run it around and just go to this one and run through that and done and it's done up and down in just like precisely no time and next up is Honestly, I hate it. It's everyone's favorite, but it's a must, which is mascara, guys. So here it is. And I'm gonna quickly put some mascara. I found myself a great mascara. So just one coat is enough. Um, I suggest like in the day, don't put a lot of mascara and try not running it in the same spot again and again because it makes the mascara really clumpy and it looks unreal and nobody wants that you should wear makeup and people should just keep staring at you and think is she wearing makeup is she not is it natural is it real is it not oh my god your skin is so amazing you look so pretty are you wearing makeup oh my god and you could just be like no you know this is how it is it looks natural and no one should be able to tell your line so uh that's the trick to good makeup you should be able to look flawless and people should keep guessing whether you're wearing makeup or not wearing makeup or is it just like a great Instagram filter. Next up is my favorite which is a lip balm. Oh shit! 
I forgot, like prepping skin, the most important thing is to uh, put lip balm. Uh, I honestly put lip balm through the day quite a lot. So I had already put lip balm before I started shooting this. So I forgot to tell you guys to put the lip balm. So don't forget to put lip balm. Uh, ideally put lip balm before you start doing your makeup. So by the time you get to the lipstick, um, your lips are already hydrated. So lip balm and just like a matte uh, light or like a nude lipstick is great for the day. And just keep the lipstick as light as possible. Lighter the shade, the more you're gonna glow in the day. And especially if it's for college or school, keep it really, really light. And ta-da! <laughs> Uh, so this is my basic basic makeup and I think it took all about five minutes uh, or maybe six max six I absolutely enjoyed shooting this video I was running away from it because I thought but I don't know how to makeup tutorials hote hai. what special can I teach you guys that you know it's not there on the internet um, already and a lot of times we think about that in life um, but I'm glad I did this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know all my girls will. I know all the girls uh, who are watching this video. I read your messages and, and I absolutely love it. And I love the fact you guys adore me so much. I love you guys as well. Um, and for the men out there, listen, you know, like, you know how much effort a girl is putting if she's turning up like this to meet you. Or, uh, you know, how blessed a girl is if she's not wearing makeup at all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please tell me what other videos you guys would like me to shoot. And I absolutely enjoyed this one. I will do a more glamorous look soon sometime. And I will film it and show it to you guys. Uh, leave your comments. Tell me what you guys thought. And um, yeah, I read all your comments. And let me know what other videos you guys would like me to make. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, share it and keep spreading love guys. And love